How to remove and add watermarks using iMyPhone Mark Go for beginners. Watermarks are a great way for content creators to claim copyrights in their photography and video. However, sometimes watermarks can cause a bit of an inconvenience for consumers as they disturb the aesthetic of the images. So in this video, we will recommend that you use iMyPhone Mark Go, the most excellent watermark remover to help you remove and add watermarks for your images and videos fast and smoothly. Let's find out how to use it. First of all, install iMyPhone Mark Go using the official website link below. Once you've done that, launch Mark Go and you'll see four options showing on your screen. Feature number one, remove video watermark. Step one, click on remove video watermark and upload your video from your storage. You can either click on add video or drag your video to import it. Step two, select the video clip in the timeline below the interface. You can either select the entire video clip for removing the watermark, or you can just choose a certain section. You can move the video clip shorter or adjust the start and end time of the video section on the right panel of the interface. You may also create another section by clicking Create Section. Step three, select the watermark. After you've imported your video, a pop-up selection tool automatically appears on the video. Drag this box into the watermark area. Also, you can resize the box to fit the watermark. Step four, Preview the result. After you have removed the watermark, click on the play button to the left side of the video clip to preview the output. Step five, export your video. Once you've done, all you need to do is simply export your video and save it in the desired location path. And voila, you get a satisfactory video without any watermarks or any traces. Now on to feature two, removing image watermark. Step one, click on the remove image watermark option. Import images you want to remove the watermark from. You can upload up to 100 images at one time, making processing watermarks in a batch very quick and very easy. Step two, select the watermark. Click on the selection tool button in the right panel. You can drag the box onto the watermark and resize the box to fit the size of your watermark. Step three, preview the result. Click on the remove now option to preview the result of removing the watermark. As you can see, the watermark on your images will vanish just like magic. Step four, export images. Finally, press the export button to acquire your images that are now watermark free. And then there's feature number three, adding a watermark to video. Step one, click on add watermark to video. Then upload the video you plan to add your watermark on top of. Step two, add an image or text as your watermark. To add an image as a watermark, click on add image button, then select the watermark image from your computer. You can adjust the image's size by dragging its corners and move it wherever you'd like. To add text as a watermark, click on the Add Text button. The text box will appear in the image. Double click on the text box and write whatever you'd like to as your watermark. Step three, export your video. Once you are satisfied with your adjustment, click on the Export button to see your video footage with your new own watermark. And lastly, feature number four, adding a watermark to an image. Step one, click on Add Watermark to Image. Upload the image you plan to add a watermark to. Step two, select either add text or add image. Step three, preview the output image. See, just like that, you've successfully added a watermark. Preview and look into the details of your images and do slight adjustments as necessary. Step four, export the image. Once you've added the watermark to your liking, you can now export it and enjoy your new images with your unique new watermark. That's it guys. Adding and removing watermarks in Marco is easier than you can ever imagine. So go ahead and give Mark Go a try and see just how easy it can be. Please let us know if you've tried it in the comments below and also your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. You know we love hearing from you. And if you found this video useful, please, please, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about the latest tips and tricks for video editing every week. See you guys next time.